Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is the third video in building a Chinese shirkin or a throwing star. And let's review what we did last time. Well, we created an image in Photoshop, and then we exported it uh, for the web, and then we just dragged and dropped it right into a plane in Cinema 4D. So I brought it on a plane, just dragged and dropped it right into a plane. And that's one of the cool things about Cinema 4D is you can just drag and drop from your desktop. And then what I did, let's get rid of that, is I uh, created a cylinder and uh, I made that the body of my uh, shirkin. And then I created tiny cylinders and I basically punched a hole using the array modifier. Now let's just cover something real quick here. Where it is the array modifier live is right here in this uh, panel right here. And you have lots of interesting things that we're going to use. Basically, the array modifier and the boolean is what we're going to use to build the rest of the shirkin. So now my shirkin is hitting because once I cut the array holes, my x-ray went away. So what I'm going to do is I kind of just bring up the, uh, the image a little bit so I can see the screen. So I've lost sight of my image plane. That's bad. But I'm just going to bring it up a little bit so I can see it and just keep my modeling going on. Now, there's many ways to do this, actually more than one way to skin a cat. And we're just going to keep going on in this vein so you get the idea of how to use basically the array modifier and the boolean. And then we're going to show you how to put the image onto this object that we create. So let's come along here and I'm going to bring the plane up just a little bit. Let's rotate this so we can see what we're handling. And let's just bring the plane up so we can see it. And we just know we got that behind us. We just cut a hole in it. And my next thing is to create a little uh, basically cube here, an elongated or a rectangle. Going to put it right here and once again use my array modifier and boolean to cut a hole in it. So let's go ahead and get off of that and bring out a cube. So here's a cube. We've got a lot of work to do on that cube. So down here in the attributes manual manager, I'm just going to bring that down to what? 40? Is that what I've been using? Okay. And let's just shrink this to the right size. Oh, this is just so much fun. And let's, we're going to pull that right into place where it needs to be. Okay, and I'm going to basically move this around a little bit. It doesn't look centered, but it actually is. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. Okay, move it over just a little bit. There we go, right in the place where it's supposed to be. We can bring that up a little bit. We can shrink it a little bit. You know, just play around with it all day long. And now we're ready, once again, to apply our array modifier to this. And let's go ahead and hit the array modifier and see what happens. So go up here to your little panel. Click on array modifier. Now let's drag that key right into the array modifier and see what happens. And there you go. The cube's all lined up. So what I'm going to do now is uh, hit my array modifier and I'm going to bring down the radius and shrink that in. There we go. Right into place. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Looks a little bit off, but I think I'm going to live with that just a little bit. Let's bring it over a little bit. Yep, we're good there. And now what I'm going to do is actually apply the boolean to it. So let's hit the boolean. Right, and now what we're going to do is stick the array that we uh, created previously right into it. So the previous boolean, I'm going to stick that in there. And now I want to chop that, uh, or have it chopped with my array. There you go. Okay, now this looks a little bit off and so what I do is look it's reversed I'm actually cutting the wrong thing so I just need to switch the order here so we can just switch one with so I've actually put it in the wrong place let's bring it up uh, not quite let's switch the order and there we go now that's actually looking pretty good I'm actually starting to cut some nice holes in this thing just one more thing to do is just put another cylinder in there, and I'm going to start naming these. So let's just call this uh, uh, second cut. And I got one more thing to do, and I'll be done with this particular image. And so I want to actually put a big cylinder right here, and then I'm going to use this and cut my second cut with that cylinder, and then I'll be done with my throwing star. So let's bring out a cylinder, and let's move it into place. We're going to go to our attributes manager and change some of the object coordinates. Let's make this, once again, 40, I believe, we're using as our cut size. And we're going to bring down the cut size, of course. That's a little bit too many polygons. I don't want to have a whole lot of polygons. Let's bring the radius out. There we go. I want a nice big radius. I'm going to fit right there. Let's turn this and close in on it so I can get that radius just right. I really want to get this good. Well, whenever you have something to select, remember, that's what you're going to rotate around. And so let's bring that radius up a little bit. There you go. Let's bring it out. A little more radius there. Uh, now we're starting to get there. Yep, 
cutting right through there. And all I want to do now is just apply that array modifier. And when I do, guess what? I'm going to have a shuriken. So let's go ahead and go here to our little uh, panel and go to array. And let's just stick our array in there. Well, there we go. And now, once again, it's too far out. Make sure you click on the array to work with the radius and bring that in. I'm going to move this back so you can see what I'm doing. And let's just bring that radius, tighten it up, and bring everything in. Hoo-hoo, that is making me have good feelings. All right, I'm going to move that over just a little bit. Yeah, that's really cool. Now, uh, just a few points here. Uh, I didn't start off in showing you that you could actually change the number of... Uh, cylinders that you have here by adjusting some parameters. So let me just show that parameter adjustment. So I have seven copies of the original, so that means there's eight. If I click that, say I have more or less, I actually change the number that I have in my array. just want to make sure you see that. I just needed seven copies of the original, which makes eight. And now what I want to do is bring out my uh, Boolean and use that to cut into my second cut, and this will be my third cut. So basically, let's go ahead and bring out our Boolean. We're going to throw the item that we're going to cut first and the item we're going to cut will be the array that we just created or item we're going to cut with and put so make sure the item gets, that's going to be cut goes in, under the boolean first and the item that you're cutting with underneath that and there you go now at this point let's flip it around and see what we got on the other side yes that is my throwing star I can bring that up to zero if I want to or I can just get rid of my plane let's get rid of the plane let's double click on that so you can actually see what we've made and uh, let's take a look at it Ooh, not too shabby, not too shabby. Now, I didn't quite get this um, edges the way I want it to look to. See, I've kind of got a little bit too much cylinder. I can increase the size of my cylinder. That's one thing. Move it out a little bit. Or I can actually put a little pointing edge on the end of these stars, a nice little a visual effect. Well, for now, let's go back and re-edit our uh, cylinder and make it a little bit larger and get a point on our star. That's the easiest solution for now. So let's open up our Boolean again. So once it's done, doesn't mean you can't stop. So go back and go to our cylinder right there. Select that. And let's increase the radius of our cylinder. And notice as I increase the radius, see how it's tightening up there? And I actually want to move the cylinder out a little bit, so I'm actually going to change its position. So I'm going to go to its, so I'm going to go to the array and actually move the array cylinders out a little bit. So let's go back to our object and go to our radius. There we go. And let's take a look and see how that's starting to look. And things are looking really good as far as throwing stars are concerned. If you if you know about throwing stars, this is pretty much what they look like. Uh, I could actually put a few more uh, segments on there to make smooth that out a little bit. There you go. And that actually looks like a pretty good throwing star. All right, what I want to do now is I actually want to take the image that I created earlier in Photoshop and put it right onto this shuriken, and we'll do that next time.